good morning welcome to craft time at the lisbon hepburn library my name is michelle mcclagan and i am the director of the library here in lisbon and today for our summer reading craft project we are doing farm animals from north america and our craft project is paper weaving so depending on which kit you get, we have four different animals that we are doing with our paper weaving project for North America. You will be able to weave two animals. So you'll get a choice, depending on which craft kit you've picked up, of doing a pig, a cow, a sheep, or a chicken. So let me put these aside for just a moment and show you what the craft kit looks like. So depending on which kit you pick up, you will have different colors of paper in them. And I'll show you what's in this one. So each kit will allow you to make two of the animals that you see pictured on the front page of the instruction sheet. But let's see what we've got all together. So first page is going to be your instructions. So you have step-by-step -step instructions here. You have a picture of each animal just to give you something to use as a guide. Then you're going to have four different colors of paper strips that we have already cut for you. Um, in this particular kit, there are several green strips, some white strips, some like light orange colored strips, and some darker, like a reddish brown color. You will also have two pieces of yellow paper, and that's going to be the yellow paper that you can use as your background. So there'll be two pieces of that. And then you will also have two animal templates that are already printed on colored paper for you. So you will either be getting a blue cow, a pink pig, or you might have another kit that has the red rooster or the green colored sheep. So we went with all kinds of bright colors for this particular craft kit. Now you need to supply from home some glue and some scissors. And that is all that you need unless you wanna add some other decorations to your animals. And then you could do that with some crayons or markers, colored pencils, whatever you like. What you're going to want to do with your first step is to cut out the outline of the animal. And you'll see here in the samples that I did, I cut outside of the black lines because that just gave the animal a little more detail. So in this particular case, you'd cut the outline of the cow. Okay, and if you can't cut some of the little bits in between, that's okay. You can get an adult to help or you can just leave them intact. And then you would also cut out the outline of the pig. Just be careful going around his tail. And if you accidentally, um, you know, your scissors slip and you cut off his tail, you could always use just a marker and draw an another one in. So I'm going to put aside that particular craft kit and bring over some of the supplies that I have from another kit. So in this particular kit, I'm going to choose to use two different colors. I'm gonna to choose to use a blue and a white. Now what I've done on my other ones, and you'll see here, and it's easier to see on some of the different ones depending on what colors I've used, but I have gone every other color with my weaving. So in this particular sheep, I used a blue and then like an orangish color, and I went blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. And that gives me this woven pattern. And one thing that you may want to consider when you're choosing which colors of strips that you have in your kit is that you maybe don't want to use a bright green against the sheep because it wouldn't show up. So you'll want to choose some contrasting colors. And when I put the craft kits together for you, I did try to make sure that the colors were contrasting. So I didn't usually give anybody blue strips if they had the blue cow or green strips if they had the, uh, the sheep and so forth. So you'll want to go every other one. And you can see we've glued it to a piece of paper so you don't see the back side of it. We'll start with a chicken. We'll do with a chicken today. So I have my chicken. 
I have my yellow background. So it's going to end up looking like that. And out of my kit, I've chosen the blue and the white because they look good against the red. You'll see if you look closely at what you've printed or what you've cut out here, that there are some vertical lines and there's one horizontal line that goes through the middle. What you want to do is to very carefully take your animal, doesn't matter which animal you have, and you want to fold it right across that horizontal line. Now, the chicken has slightly shorter vertical lines than the other animals do because the chicken just isn't quite as big in the middle. So once you've folded it, and you can see where I folded it right on that line, you wanna come back with your scissors and you wanna cut on those vertical lines one at a time. And you'll see what it's doing is it's cutting on the other side as well because we folded it in half. And that way we're not trying to stick our scissors in the middle of something that we're cutting. We're using that folded line as a guide. So you'll just carefully cut all of those. And what that's going to do is give us something to weave all of our paper strips into. Just a couple more. And just be careful that you don't cut all the way through the top of the animal, in this case, the chicken. And if you do, that's fine. You can tape it back together or just glue it. So once we've cut all of those, we're going to unfold that. And you can see now that we have places in between where we can weave those strips. So flatten it out. Okay, we're not gonna glue it down, we're just gonna flatten it. And then I'm gonna come back and get a couple of paper strips. Now, the first color that you can do, you can actually stick a couple of strips through there all at one time, but you can't do that with a second one. So, you can see we go over, under, over, under in a little pattern, and your, your paper strips might be attached together at one end, and if so, you just wanna pull them apart. All right, and I'm gonna do all three of these at once. And it doesn't matter whether you start over or under, that it's absolutely relevant, but we're gonna go down through the first one, under, and then up over, and then under the next one. And we're gonna keep doing that. And sometimes you need to flip it over so that you can see where you're going. And then we're going to go up and over again, pull those through. And again, with the very first color that you use, you can use three or four strips and weave them all through at the same time or you can do them one by one. I just want to save a little bit of time here so that you don't have to watch me do every single one of them. And I lost one along the way, so let me come back and poke this one up and down as well. And I do wanna make sure that I stay on the track with what I did before. Now, you can choose to do two colors, which is what I've done on all of my samples, but you have four colors of strip in each kit. So you can always choose to do a random pattern. They don't have to be the same way that I've done mine. And then what I'm going to do is spread out these three strips that I put through. So if I spread these out and I put one way up at the top and one way at the bottom and one sort of in the middle, you can see that the other color that I'm using needs to go in between them, okay? So now I'm going to take one white strip. I'm not gonna try and do two at once because then they won't be 
woven in between each other. I took this one and I went under that first one. So now I'm gonna come up from the bottom. I'm gonna do it exactly the opposite way. So this one came over, this one's gonna come under, pull it up enough and then push it down through the next one. You can flip it over and you can grab that piece and just pull it right through. And now you'll see that what we have is the blue is going over the top and the white is going down under the bottom. So we'll come back over here. And we'll do a few more. So just over and under, over and under. And you just, in, as you're going along, it really does help if you stop and say, okay, am I still opposite of the one next to me? So this one came up over with the blue. I want the white one to go under on that one. And if you make a mistake, just pull it back out and try again. Okay, so there we've got the white one. And it helps to kind of push it up nice and tight. And then I'm going to take one of these blue ones that I already did and slide it up. And see, that's where I didn't have to come back and weave that one again. Push that other blue one way down. Get another sheet of the white strips. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to do exactly the same pattern that I did before with the white. So the white is going to come under the edge of the chicken, over the first piece of red there that we cut, down through the back, and pull it nice and tight. And you can see I just made a mistake. So I'm going to back this one out and go down through the correct slit in the paper. And that is how easy it is to fix something that you've messed up. So I'm gonna come back over here and continue weaving under and over. And just, even if you're using multiple colors, and you're using, say, more than the two colors, just make sure that every time you come up and over that it's the opposite of the one that you've already done. So you end up with this woven pattern. So we'll flip it over again. And sometimes it's easier to do it from the top and sometimes it's easier to look at the bottom. So you'll see I flip my chicken over multiple times as I'm going through weaving. And the corner of my strip is a little bit bent so that's not making it any easier. So there we go, we're almost done. Just go down one more. And there you can see it. All right, so the weaving part is finished now. We've got blue, white, blue, white, blue. Okay, it goes over, under, over, under, over, under. Now we've got a couple of things that we have to take care of before we glue it on to our white, or excuse me, our yellow paper. You'll see here that these strips do not hang out over the edge. Okay, so to neaten it up, we're gonna do a couple of things. One thing we're going to do is we're going to take this blue strip and we're gonna pull it this way, just a little bit. And I did tear it right there, which is fine. I'm just going to tear that piece off because we don't want it sticking all the way out there. There we go. So there's the blue one. It is no longer sticking out. And then what we're going to do on this side 
is just gonna just trim it off right there so that it isn't sticking out on the front part. And I'm just gonna pull it back through a little bit so it's not visible. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my other blue strips. So I'm gonna just pull it down, let it pop back out, and I'll just pull it this way a little bit. You can just trim it off, and you can trim both of them off. You could even trim this one off, and then just pop those ends back in. There we go. So that they're not quite so visible. And now they're just on the back, okay? And then with the white ones, you don't even have to do that much. It was only the blue ones. I'm just gonna pull them a little bit down and give them a little bit of a trim. So the back side of your chicken does not have to be neat by any standard. You can see where my ends are all ending at different places, okay? We do not have to glue them down. We don't have to do anything to them. We just wanna make sure, and I, I did tear one as I pointed out to you. We are not perfect when we are doing the crafts at the library, that is for sure. I'm just gonna poke it through there so it looks a little more even. So that is what we have. Messy on the back, nice on the front. Now it's time to glue it down. So I'm just gonna come along with my glue stick and I'm gonna run a bunch of glue around the outside of the chicken. And if you've got the cow or the pig or whatever animal you're doing, you're just gonna do the same thing and get some glue up in here on the chicken's head. And you can very carefully just put a little bit of glue right on the edge of those strips and that'll just keep them from very carefully put a little bit of glue in the middle so it doesn't bug, bubble up. Put the lid on my glue. I'm gonna take my chicken, I'm gonna flip my chicken over and you can put it wherever you want to. I'm gonna put mine down at the bottom because it is a fairly tall chicken and kind of line it up like that. Gently press it down. You don't want to do too much wiggling and end up pulling those strips out. Glue down the head. We'll come back and glue down the tail feathers. And there is our woven chicken. So this is the one we started with as our sample. This is the one we just did together. So different color combinations, but that is just a difference in what colors are in each kit. Each kit will have different color strips. So just let that all dry and that'll be great. Now, when you're doing your other animals, it is exactly the same thing. You can see here probably on camera where I had folded it right down the middle where that line is. And then I cut my slits and I put my strips in. The Chicken only has uh, five rows, whereas the other animals have seven. So it'll take a little longer to weave the other animals than the chicken. Same thing with the cow and the same thing with the pig. They're all made exactly the same way. So that is it. That would be our craft project for North American farm animals. We did a paper weaving project with chickens, sheep, cows and pigs. Thank you so much for joining us for another craft time at the Lisbon Hepburn Library. My name is Michelle McLagan and I'm the director of the library here in Lisbon and I look forward to seeing you in the library. We're open Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 8 and Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 to 5. Take care. Enjoy your summer. Bye-bye.